We are Karula Project, an international team based in Japan and the United States, bringing together 70 members from 20 institutions. United by a passion for pushing the frontiers of Mars exploration, we are here to compete in the 2025 University Rover Challenge. The core rover system is designed to meet standard competition requirements. In the hardware design, a dedicated space for replaceable mission-related components is located in the front of the body. A new power supply on the rear provides more space for other components. These sections are connected via a centralized interface panel. The new modular communications design enables swapping pieces in case of failure. Meanwhile, the control system allows incoming data to be toggled, keeping mission-relevant information easily accessible. For safety, an emergency stop button and GNS data recording ensure secure mission execution. The mobility system was developed simultaneously in both Japan and the US. This allows us to significantly improve previous design as a reliable alternative in Japan, while allowing the US to attempt more risky performance improvements. In Japan, efforts were focused on refining the previous rover, while in the US, an entirely new steering system was developed to enhance maneuverability. The link differential was introduced to minimize vibrations, ensuring smoother arm movement. This change guarantees our rover's ability to carry a 5kg mass and open toolboxes during the delivery mission. Additionally, the introduction of in-wheel motors allows us for a more compact suspension design. Also, both countries designed fully 3D printed wheels focused on weight reduction. The US team has a big upgrade. Wheel isolated steering, allowing for greater handling and precise navigation. Although Japan and the U.S. are developing completely different designs, our mobility system functions the same and shares the same success criteria, such as speed and maneuverability. To complete the equipment servicing mission, our team has developed a six-degree freedom arm to interface with the competition environment. Customer-designed cycloidal drives are used to increase torque with minimal backlash. These drives were machined with CNC, and manual milling was done for other components. Machining was done in both countries to reduce the individual workload and improve collaboration. Another new addition to the arm system is the semi-differential joint. This joint converts the rotation from two motors into pitching and rolling motion in one streamlined design, reducing mass. The hand uses a screw mechanism for strength and precision, and has symmetric closing for easier control this year. Key improvements have been made to the control system focusing on pressure, time efficiency, and reliability. To increase the pressure and the time efficiency of task compression, we have integrated the inverse schematic-based control using Mobit server. This allows operators to directly command the defector's position and posture. Additionally, absolute encoders were introduced in several joints for accurate angle detection. For reliability, we are developing a custom PCB to improve communication consistency. For the autonomous navigation mission, we've significantly improved self-localization accuracy by integrating visual geometry from RealSense, GNSS data from Arctic module, and IMU into the extended command filter. The RTK technology enables precise positioning, allowing for more reliable and accurate navigation. As a result, the rover can now reach its target with greater precision through RGB SLAM. The LED color changes based on the rover's operating state. Additionally, we validate performance using gazebo simulation that match the rover's environment. For the later checkpoints, the system is equipped with object detection software, enabling detection of water bottles, Aruko tags, and mallets. The Aruko tag software uses OpenCV, while the water bottle and mallet models were trained on YOLO V11. In the science mission, we seek habitable environment and evidence of life. Our rover is equipped with a front camera for a stratigraphic profile, a downward facing camera, and a panoramic camera to analyze geological features and potential life supporting locations. Newly developed automated detection methods using programmatic highlighting assist operators quickly scan key details such as river traces and polygonal cracks on the layer of clay minerals to locate past water existence. This year, we developed sampling drill for on rover analysis to collect subsurface soil. After collection, PBS solvent with EDTA is sent from a syringe and mixed with a sample, which is then delivered to the analysis devices without cross-contamination. A newly developed fluorescence detector senses trace biomarkers. The excitation light is 365 nanometers and the intensity of emitted blue fluorescence, filtered at 479 nanometers, is quantified using a camera. The target molecules are DNA, detected using hoax 33342 and phospholipids, which are detected with TMA-DPH. A microscope will also be used to conduct further investigation as well as bridge together our other analysis methods. A sample will be delivered directly to the imaging sensor and imaging analysis software will be used to locate and identify characteristics of microfossils, microorganisms, and clay minerals. The custom design sample return drill has a wide operating range and can collect any three samples more than 2 cm. After reaching target tips of 15 cm, the ceiling shielder is close to security content sample. A built-in compact temperature and humidity sensor at 10 cm or deeper provides environmental context for analysis. Karura will continue to develop and improve the rover for URC 2025. See you all in Utah.